Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Man Destroy Ninja here with another banger on what I've been doing on Rise of the Ronin lately. So as I've explored around the map, I've gotten to Chapter 3 through long progression of the whole campaign. So after completing most of the campaign, now I found this cave, right guys? Grappling hook on up. I'll show the location a little bit later. Just make sure you subscribe up. I've got a lot of secret enemies coming on the channel and a lot already up. Okay, so these guys drop the best loot in the game. That's why I'm covering them. And they are pretty sick too. They're hard to beat. So basically what we're looking at here is an absolute surprise box. So get ready for him. As soon as you go around this corner, he's going to spring an assault on you. So what I'm recommending for you is to get your handgun out first. Give him everything you got in that thing, eh? I, I, I did. This is what I did to him. It basically did nothing to him. He's got so much health, as you see. It's done barely anything. You've got, oh, I think, two or three clips with the handgun to fully pump into the guy. Bang, bang, into him. And then... Wait for it. Wait for it. We're all out. So we've got to quickly switch to the ninja star. Okay, I'm going to poison tip them so I get the poison coated ninja stars. I've been upgrading that through the stat tree, so they're looking pretty schmick as you see. They do a lot of damage, especially to his key bar. So I've been able to run in and hit the triangle button for the critical strike as his key bar was so low. So here he comes with his... He's actually got the oxtail blade onto me, which is a very fast, very rapid weapon. So you've got to be careful. I'm personally using a above a level 500 great sword on him that I found. So I figure I'd just get my highest damage weapon out and wail on him with it. It's a little bit slow to swing as you see. He catches me off guard a little bit with it, but when it hits him, it does at least 600 damage on him, which is pretty high for this particular content. So uh, blocking this particular Coyote, blue bloodthirsty villain we call him, um, he does drop a set of gear exactly like what he's wearing once you pop him. Keep that in mind. It's pretty cool. It's like a sort of like Bruce Lee looking outfit with a hat. I don't mind it. Um, don't know if I'm going to wear it much, but he does also drop some other pretty cool loot. So at the moment, I'm concentrating on beating him with the parries and the poison edge blades as well. So as you see, I'm reigniting that there so that I can actually continue to make that bleed damage happen to him when I'm not attacking him as well. So a big great sword in and then the bleed damage and then back I'm trying to block and parry and use all the health so I'd recommend bringing enhanced health extra health and then toxic blades so that's a poison sort of coated one with the extra green color not the paralyzed one I used this time it was the actual poison one so I got a whole heap of immigrant set and some hide gauntlets that were better than mine got some queen style shoes as well as an actual oxtail blade sword which was actually awesome as guys so those are the fast weapon I'm talking about they're a little bit like hitting them with daggers so I also got the seven military classics book definitely completed on twilight as you can see there there is the immortals that oxtail blade that i was talking about that you got as well as the harvest moon uchigana okay so basically that handgun there is the one that i used i think it was a 412 or something like that so with the great sword you could use a katana or any number of weapons i personally have been specking into a lot of strength lately and i'd recommend the max health as much as you can get into that before hitting him as well as handguns so you got a little bit more handgun to put in okay the other thing that i'd recommend putting in is all of these stat points so you get those from farming the secret enemies make sure to view all of our videos so you can get as many of those seven military classics books as you can till next time guys stay subbed up enjoy <laughs> 